G'day and welcome to day 123 of this awesome beard growth. If you haven't seen me before, I'm growing my beard for a whole year. Today's Tuesday, so it's Teaching Tuesday. I'm going to talk to you about states. So there's, uh, I guess, states of substances and molecules and all that kind of crazy stuff. But it's obviously uh, gas, liquid and solid. And now we're told that our solid is more dense than our liquid and that when you freeze something to its solid state, it should take up less room. But it doesn't happen with water. As you know, you put your water bottle in the freezer, uh, the water freezes, it expands, and it breaks your water bottle, like it pops the top off, or it just shatters the whole water bottle. Now, the reason this works is we're going to come to the board, of course. Now, this is the water molecule here, all right? So it's H2O, as we all know this. So there's an oxygen atom, and it's attached to these two hydrogen ones. Now, because it's bigger and it likes electrons and everything like that, what ends up happening is it actually becomes slightly polar, okay? So this oxygen is slightly more negative than the hydrogens. So when, what happens in the liquid form is the liquid has enough energy for the molecules to move around in this unkind of ordered state. But you're going to have this slight bonding between another hydrogen from another oxygen molecule. You can see by that dashed line there. But because the liquid has so much energy, it moves around and it breaks these bonds and they reform and they break and they reform. Now at about four degrees, the water gets cold enough and enough energy is taken out that they sl slow down enough to form this kind of hexagonal um, shape with the three molecules that we see here. So we've got like one, two, three water molecules here and they have this slight hydrogen bonding between one molecule and another molecule because this is slightly negative. So we'll put that in. That's slightly negative, and this one here is slightly positive. So they like to attract to each other. So when it forms ice and it solidifies, it crystallizes and creates this hexagon pattern. And in that way, it's, I guess, taking up less room, so it's less dense, and has expanded. So that's why when you freeze water, it expands. So, you know, other options are like when you, um, when you cool down, like, say, your oils, they're going to shrink. Like... A good example is gold. Let's say you got gold. You melt down gold because you want to form it into something. When you actually freeze the gold, so you cool it down, it's going to take up less room because it's going to become more ordered. We go back to the board here. We got our gold, which is AU. That's a symbol for gold. You're going to have lots of these gold molecules running around in the liquid, and they move around here and there. This one goes over there. That one goes over there. That one goes down. But when you solidify it, then they come into order and they form all this gold comes in and they condense together and there's no effects of the hydrogen bonding like pushing them away. So that's why in technical chemical terms why water expands when it freezes. So I hope you've learned something new and if you've got an exam on it there's your answer right there. So there's your marks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for what's happened Wednesday where I've got a good news story for you. Uh, hint, it's about zombies.